All right, item in the code, day nine. Here we go. Head and tail always touching. Okay. I see. Moves diagonally first. Okay. Um. We do. And I think we just go in like sign. S. Oh, it's a reference point. I see. Um, only if ah. Positions. This is the tail visit at least once. Okay. Oh, it's going the opposite direction. That's wrong.
also not right. Let's go back to the test input. We get 10. Seems wrong. So let's follow along. This seems right. Oh wait, if it's ever more than two steps directly. This seems right. Oh, I see. It always moves one to keep up. It always moves one diagonally. Oh, I see. Um, We always move one. Sixteen. Doesn't seem right either. <clears throat> I am definitely parsing something wrong here. Aren't touching and aren't the same rubber column. It always moves one diagonally. So this checks if it's like diagonal, right? So here it moves diagonally. Let's see. Okay, so that's fine. It goes up, then it goes diagonal. So now it's, oh wait, it can't be on top of it. How does that happen? We move to 4, 1. Let's see. If we move up 1, oh, I see. If it's, wait, no. Why did it not update here? Oh, because it's, I see. Because if it's diagonal, this counts as touching. OK. Now I'm getting the right answer. Oh man, that was a lot of bugs. Rank 114, I could still be, if I'm fast enough, I could get part two. Oh no. What's the length of the rope? That's gonna be tough, okay. Um. I'm just making a new file for this because it's going to be a lot of changes. Okay, so ten positions, so that's zero through nine. Yep. Um, and what we'll do first one will be the head, and so updating index i to track it. What we do is this is going to be basically head x and head y, like position i minus one, and tail x. That's fine. Except now, instead of doing this, we'll tell x is rope i zero. It's rope i one. Do they all update simultaneously. When do they update? Doesn't seem like it's simultaneous. Can't figure out easily if it's uh, okay. Individual steps not shown. Oh, I'm just gonna run with it and see if it works. Okay. 
There's a tail of the rope. Let's see. Let's do. Let's do the head. Rank 34. Okay. Whew, I got some points there. Uh, I'm probably going to fall a little bit on global from that. Um, but I'm happy I made leaderboard there. Wow. Yeah. Part two, I guess, was a... Uh, was it a big leap? I think it was a pretty big leap, actually. Um, I think like I had to completely restructure my code, and I code fast, so I probably had a bit of an advantage there. Um, yeah. If you had to restructure your code completely and uh, are not like fast at writing the code, you probably suffer a good bit here. Oh man! So what happened on part one? On uh, part one, there were a lot of bad parses. I'll just say that. Um, so like, I think these rules about how the tail moves. I don't know. I oversimplified them for sure. Uh, I do not, like in ways that were not legal. Um, yeah, I think, what is it? At one point, I thought you could do like each mention separately, but that's not really the case. Uh, wait, is it? Maybe it is actually. Um, I'm kind of curious now. If, maybe it is, but I did it wrong the first time. So my like incorrect or update function. Uh, let's comment this one out. My incorrect update function was like, I think just this. Right? Um, and this is wrong because, let's just try it. Uh, we think it was wrong. Yeah, so it is wrong. I'm trying to remember why it's wrong. I mean, like, it's obviously not exactly what it says, but I'm trying to think like in what case is it not equivalent. Um, so here it would move. Oh, I think this is the case right here, this diagonal. So like if it's diagonal and not touching, it needs to move like in both directions. Um, and if you process each direction separately, you would say like, oh, well in the X direction, it's like close enough. So you wouldn't move it, um, which is why you have to uh, do everything. You have to handle like you first have to handle the case like are we um, are we in the same row or column? In which case we only need to move in one direction. Um, this is this does only move it in one direction. Like these can't both be be true. Well, this if statement is true. Um, and then the next check is if it's diagonal. Uh, but you need to make sure that it's not touching diagonally. Um, I think there's probably a slightly simpler way of writing this, but this this was killer for me. It took me quite a while to come up with this logic correctly. Uh, everything else was fine. But yeah, man, that was a, a rough day for me, but I'm happy with the recovery to uh, 34. Um, let's see, how full is the leaderboard here? Okay, it's basically about full. Uh, let's see where I am now. I fell to eight. Okay, oh, but I'm I really close to uh, Jonathan here, seven. Okay, pretty happy with this. Uh, well, maybe I shouldn't be happy with, with my global rank steadily falling, but... Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think like I'm happy to have gotten points. Um, I'm trying to remember, what do I need to like average to get say top ten, like twenty seven sixty four over twenty five days? So one ten, um, one ten points a day. Okay, so I definitely did not get anywhere near one ten points today. Um, I got sixty seven points. Wow. So one ten points is a lot. It's like uh, it's rank. It's 55 per part, so uh, rank 45 on like both parts every day on average. Man, I don't know if I can if I can uh, if I can average that, but uh, we'll, we'll see. I think when it, things get harder, like I can definitely solve the harder questions, but um, and like fairly fast. But there's just so much more risk of if I look, like there's higher risk of me misinterpreting things. Uh, I think it was like a little hard to misinterpret some of the earlier questions. Um, 
I don't know, like this interval question, things like this. Whew. All right, well, that's it for today. I will call the recording here.